All right, guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to show everybody how to install Metal Gear Solid 5 with mods on your Steam Deck. Now, the reason I'm actually doing this is because I've been playing a ton of Metal Gear Solid games, all the mainline Metal Gear Solid games again, because I'm preparing for a retrospective for Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah, anyway, I thought it'd be fun actually try, try and do this because I haven't seen any videos on YouTube covering this aspect. The reason I'm playing Metal Gear Solid 5 with mods because there's some irritating aspects about that game, in particular wait times, and in particular the helicopter rides between missions that's why i wanted to mod this let's get into this i'm going to show everybody how to do it there's uh, multiple steps so hopefully i can explain it as best i can so what we want to do first is first and foremost you need to own a copy install that okay so have that installed as a prerequisite what we want to do is then we want to go to steam we're going to go to power we're going to go switch to desktop now there's a couple of prerequisites we need first we need to download snakebite which is the mod installer tool for metal gear solid 5 so you need to get that off nexus mods and just a note about nexus mods you need to have a log on for that website in order to download files so as i said open up a browser window go to nexus mods and search for snakebite mod manager and it'll bring this one up download this so you go to manual and you just go to download the file there's only one there so once that's downloaded we need to go to discover software center there are two utilities we need to install first before we even think about installing snakebite and we think about installing mods in general and we're going to search up q4 wine go ahead and install that okay and then directly after that you're going to install a program called flat seal so again search that and just hit the install button i've these both installed now so it's either install or remove so once that's done close out of discover software center what we're going to do is we're going to launch q4 wine first so what is q4 wine q4 wine allows you to run the windows executable within the linux environment so that's essentially what we're using this utility for Okay, so go ahead and launch that first. So you can go up to the search bar here and type, type Q4 Wine and launch it. And it will show you this window here first. So all we want to do is we want to point to the setup file or the download file. So we downloaded Snakebite. We want to go File Run. We want to hit this little arrow here and actually search for the program. I have it downloaded in Downloads. Okay, so you can see here Snakebite and Snakebite Installer. So you want to hit Open and then you want to hit OK. And now, as you can see, it's actually going through the Snakebite setup. So hit I agree, continue next, next, next. Go ahead and install that. Hit close and it will drop two shortcuts on your desktop. It'll drop Snakebite and Snakebite Inc. But you want to use Snakebite Inc. Before we launch that, close out of Q4 Wine. So next, launch Flat Seal. So hit start again and go Flat Seal, launch this. And the reason we need to use this utility is we need to give Q4 Wine elevated privileges because it needs to be able to say, see specific folders for the Steam installation, okay? So scroll down here and by default, these all here will be unchecked, okay? The file systems will be unchecked. You need to check all of these, okay? And then once you've those checked, you can close out of the program. So next, what we want to do is we want to launch Snakebite. Again, go to the application launcher, go to search, and you're going to type Q4 Wine, launch Q4 Wine. Now, at this time, you want to go to the actual desktop and run that shortcut. So go to browse again. So where you need to find that is you need to go to home, you need to go to deck, you need to go to desktop, drop down this and go all files. And there you will see the snakebite.inc, which is the shortcut. Okay, so hit open and you can just hit OK on this and it'll launch the Snakebite setup. You need to run the installer first and then you need to actually set up Snakebite. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to hit next. Now, this is where it's important. And as I mentioned, you need to use Flat Seal to give this program elevated privileges through q 4 y so when you hit browse here, you go to my computer, you go to Z. And if we go to home, we go to deck, we go to Steam, we go to Steam again, we go to Steam apps, we go to common, and then we drill into MGS TPP. And there is the launcher for Metal Gear Solid. So hit OK, and then we hit next. And what it's going to say, backup existing data. I'm going to skip this, but you need to do this first off, OK, because I've already this done. So I'm just going to skip it. I recommend you just hit next and you allow it to do its backup. Once you've that done, you'll see this screen, hit next again, and then it starts working on some of the game files. So let that complete. So now that that's done, and what you're going to see is then you're going to see the Phantom Pain launcher. Well, this is the Snakebite launcher, essentially. So now we can go ahead and start thinking about installing mods. So the mods I'm talking about, let's go back to Nexus mods. You want to go and search Infinite Heaven, and you're going to go again to download. Now, remember, as I said, you need to have a log on 
and you need to have another file downloaded as well so go ahead and download ihhook as well so i'll open that up here you need to download this one and you need to download infinite heaven so once those are both downloaded go into mods and you can see here i have these already installed but i'm going to show folks how to do it again anyway so you pretty much go install mgs files okay we're going to go back to z we're going to go back to home we're going to go to deck we're going to go to downloads and you can see it here i hook so we hit okay on that and it goes adding that in and then you can hit add more mods again go back to z we're going to go to home deck downloads infinite heaven and infinite heaven so it's going to list the two of them there and then it's going to say continue installation and then it's going to install both of these mods so then once that's complete you'll see the installation order that's installed hit close here i recommend you close out this don't start the game from here you can just simply do it from your steam deck so hit exit here close out of everything here so i'm going to just close out of q4 wine i'm going to close out the browser window i'm going to relaunch gaming mode once steam deck is launched simply launch metal gear solid 5 don't need to do anything else here just hit play but once the game is launched just hit continue on your game and i'll just show you that the actual mods are working so in order to activate infinite heaven as one example of a mod that you might have installed and this is the one i'm using here you hold down the space bar and it brings up a context sensitive menu and then there's a ton of settings in here but again you need to read into the mod that you're installing and what it actually does but that's just me showing you that the mods are now working and they're working within steam so that's it guys on hapes again for another tutorial this one i was showing you how to install mgs5 with mods on your steam deck if you're new to the channel and you've enjoyed this tutorial, please consider supporting my channel and the work that I do here and consider subscribing. I'd very much appreciate that. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.